So here's a quick look at how to turn uh, Adobe Illustrator vector paths into animated shapes inside of After Effects. Okay, so let's begin uh, with our Illustrator document and let's uh, review the spline shape that we're going to bring into After Effects. So in uh, the case of this particular design, it is four separate uh, layers, each with a spline on it, and uh, they're nested one inside the other. Uh, it's important uh, to keep them on separate layers if you want them to maintain their layer integrity uh, once you bring it into After Effects. And um, also, you'll also notice that I've named these layers, um, and that layer, those layer names are uh, respected when we get it into After Effects, and it just makes everything a whole lot easier. So, how did we get here? Um, the shape that we're talking about is really just a simple uh, circle. And then let's uh, ditch one of those segments and extend the line out that way. So that's the core shape that, that, that we're working with and that we'll animate when we get into After Effects. You can see um, that that's really all this is. It's that one shape repeated and nested. So, okay. Um, great, let's save this out as an AI file and fly it into After Effects and begin the spline animation. Okay, so um, start by creating a new After Effects project and importing those splines that we created. And here it is. And bring it in as a composition, that's very important. That way it'll retain the layer names and the individual splines will be respected. And it creates a little composition here. And if we open that up, we can see our vectors are all organized by layer, and those layer names are maintained. Um, but we have to convert them into uh, shapes that After Effects can deal with. So select them, and go down here and do Create Shapes from Vector Layer. Your shape, once your shapes are created, you can delete the illustrator splines. And let's have a look at the contents here. And there's your path, all right? You can see it here. We've also got this little button here that uh, allows us to add trim paths. And that's really what we're going to do. Uh, the trim paths is going to allow us to animate these, these illustrator vectors. And if you go down here, let's um, let's do start and end. We'll go out. Uh, let's go zero. So we'll start it at nothing. Go out to about five here, and go back to a hundred. And you get the idea, okay? And we'll follow that same procedure for all of the splines or all of the shapes now in our composition. So here's the finished animation and you can see it's really nothing more complicated than um, uh, keyframing these uh, start and end points to create the animation that you see here. All right. And uh, if all you want was black and white um, because they're spines and they can only manage solid colors or shapes um, then you're done. Um, but if you if you want to go a little bit further and you want to use these uh, as masks uh, to create some color and some texture underneath it, uh, we can do that too. All you do is uh, use them as alpha mats um, and do your color work underneath. So here we go. So that's pretty much it, and uh, try to keep it short so that these things don't become tedious. If you're looking for more information, leave me a note in the uh, comments, and I'll try and get that to you as well. All right, thanks a lot.